Okay, so next I'm here with Borak and we're doing our dressed brown crab. So, beautiful brown crab Borak has here from the Atlantic Ocean. So what's so special about the brown crab Borak? Brown crab, the meat is uh, so flaky and so soft. So it's very freshly textured and it's good for the cold dishes, dressed crab as we do today with the dressed crab. It's very good meat for this dressed crab. So the brown crab is, is lovely because as Borak said, a very fine texture so we can extract all the crab from inside the claws, inside the legs, pick it apart, has a lovely sweetness and it goes well with a crouton and you know the familiarity of dressed crab on toast is what we're trying to achieve here. The components for our dressed brown crab, so we have a, a beautiful little dish here with crushed ice and we're just going to lightly decorate it with some seaweed, okay, this is coming from the same area as the crab so we just want to showcase you know the ocean that it's coming from. We have a, a beautiful head of, uh, of the brown crab so every single brown crab that we, we, we kill here we pick the meat and we keep the head for presentation. So that's going to rest beautifully on here. We have our brown crab so you can see our brown crab has been um, just cooked with lots of flavours, aromatic herbs, some lemon and then we just chew it and pick it down. It's been seasoned with lemon, chives, mayonnaise, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Pepper really work, works well with this dish. For our garnish, we have some lovely salmon roe. So this is Yarra Valley salmon roe coming from uh, Yarra Valley in Melbourne, where I'm from. And of course, the dressed brown crab has to have a crouton. So we have some beautiful homemade baguette uh, croutons here, dressed with olive oil and just lightly toasted, nice and crunchy. Okay, so what are we doing here? We're going to take our brown crab, nicely rested on our bed of ice, we're just going to fill the head, okay? So, presentation is very important here. We want to keep it natural but beautiful, okay? So, the brown crab, nicely dressed, all the way up to the top. Okay, so then we're going to just neaten it up. Okay, so we have our nice, smooth and level surface area. Next, we're going to go with the salmon roe. So, salmon roe, why? Because, I mean, A, the color is just beautiful, but B, it's going to give a lovely, rich pop and saltiness on the palate and just enrich the flavor of the crab to balance out the richness. You could use caviar for this as well if you like, but we like the, uh, the richness of the salmon roe from Yarra Valley in Australia. So beautiful covering, we can see all those little, those lovely little pearls and the beautiful vibrant color. And we're just gonna top it with a nice little herb. A nice little garnish here from Borak. Then we have our beautiful brown crab, chilled, dressed with lemon juice, olive oil, mayonnaise, chives, Yarra Valley salmon roe, fresh made croutons with homemade baguette and olive oil. Please enjoy. <laughs>